Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to introduce you to a company that I'm going to be working with and share with you some of their products that they sent me. The company is called Things for Strings and they have a couple of very unique products to help aid in teaching strings. And it's really cool because I actually remember when these products came out, I was a high school student and I remember reading through the Charm Music Catalog and seeing these items promoted and I was too advanced to need them myself, but I remember thinking how cool they were. And I never ever imagined that one day I would be a string teacher who had partnered up with things for strings to share their items with you. So this is like a dream come true and I'm very excited for this opportunity. So let me show you what they sent. The first thing isn't uh, one of their products, it's actually some magic rosin. If you've ever seen magic rosin before, it's a clear rosin that has different designs underneath. So I have a sparkly one and I have one with a music note underneath it and you can even make your own and that's what they've done here. This is more of a promotional item, but I've unscrewed the container that the rosin is in and you can see it's clear rosin, but underneath it has the things for strings logo. So this was just too cool not to share with you. I have my very own Things for Strings Magic Rosin. But let's get into their two products that are really, really awesome that are made to aid in helping teach students how to hold their bow, which if you're a string teacher or someone who has learned a string instrument, you know that is a very hard part about learning an instrument. So for violins and violas, they have this, the Bow Hold Buddy. And I'll take this out in a moment and put it on my bow so you can see what it looks like. But it's a frog and a fish, and you can use these to help uh, show students where their fingers should go. Their slogan or their motto is finally an instant bow hold, which is not something you get when you're just teaching it without something to aid where the fingers should go. So it really should just be an instant put your hand down with these accessories on the bow and you can feel what that bow hold should feel like. So that's for violins and violas, the bow hold buddy. The next one is for cellos and I believe also works for basses as well. And this is just too funny. It's called the Chellophant. So you can see it's an elephant that goes on that cello bow to help you with your bow hold. So the Chellophant. So what I'm going to do is, well, first let me take one out of the package so you can see it a little bit more up close. And they have really great packaging. Um, and one of the coolest things is that inside of the two accessories, they included a very short pencil, so it's kind of like the stick of the bow, and it has their website, things for strings on it, and their slogan, finally an instant bow hold. So that's kind of like a cool extra that comes with these accessories. But I'm going to pause the video, here's my cellophant, and put these on a cello and violin bow so you can see what these look like. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And here is my violin bow with the bow hold buddy on it. I think if I turn it this way, you'll be able to see the frog a little bit better. Here he is. And then there's a fish on the top for your pinky. So underneath your thumb goes, and then the rest of your fingers kind of fall in place. And this really is, like it says, an instant bow hold for students who have never held a bow before. They'll be able to see what it feels like right away. And all of your fingers kind of fall in place where they need to be. So that's the bow hold buddy. And then on the cello bow, here is my cellophant. And if I turn him this way, you can see that's where the trunk is and the trunk is where your thumb goes. So thumb in the trunk and then my hand over the rest of the cellophant. And there is my beautiful cello bow hold. All right, so I will do more specific videos about these in the future, how to install them, how to use them, different ways you can incorporate them into practice. But I just wanted to introduce them to you today. If you'd like to go buy them, I have a link in the description. And stay tuned for more Things for Strings content in the future. So everyone have a great day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later.